What is up, fellow Pyro Fanatics? It's PimpDaddy28 here. And today I'm going to show you guys the fourth and final stash update for my 4th of July uh, 2019 fireworks stash. So I mentioned that I, I went to WF Boom this past Saturday to pick up the rest of my wholesale order. Um, and on Sunday, I uh, was able to go down to Hubbard and uh, meet uh, Chuck, the owner of Pyro Dudes, halfway on the distance uh, and pick up my order from Pyro Dudes. Um, Chuck was also nice enough, uh, to throw in a couple of, a few free items, uh, just to include in my ball shell, uh, tribute demo, and also my, uh, canister shell comparison that I'll be doing, uh, this year. Hopefully I'll get that done sometime by this weekend. I'm trying as hard as I can to get that done as, as, as soon as possible. So, um, wanted to give a huge shout out to Chuck, uh, also known as West PA Pyro on YouTube. Literally one of the best best people that you could find in the, in the fireworks business, you know, is class act, um, willing to deal with, uh, customers very well, you know, great customer service. I strongly, strongly encourage anyone who is fortunate enough to be able to stop by Pyro Dudes Fireworks in Falling Waters, West Virginia. I, I really encourage you guys to, to check out his store because he has a lot of nice items. If there's one thing that you can be sure of when you walk into Pyro Deuce Fireworks is that Chuck always carries the best of the best when it comes to cakes, shells, you know, rockets, you name it. You know, he, he carries some of the best items that you can get. And he does retail and wholesale and is willing to kind of meet you guys half, like me, he's willing to meet customers halfway on certain things. Like he'll throw in a couple of freebies and whatnot. And really you don't find uh, any type of customer service like that around that much in the uh, fireworks business. Um, so I uh, just wanted to give a huge shout out to Pyro Dudes Fireworks. Once again, Falling Waters, West Virginia. Urge anyone who can stop by that store to definitely go check it out. All right, so move, moving on, let's start on the left over here. Um, picked up a box of these Looks Dangerous uh, ball shells by uh, Wild Dragon Fireworks. You get 12... Uh, shells in a box and they say the effects on the side yes they do they say uh the effects are listed on the side of the box don't know if they're listed on the shells themselves uh i'd have to check for sure to see if the effects are listed on the shells themselves it doesn't look like it but at any rate um the reason why i got these shells is because the last of real and true ball shells that you could find i mean this isn't like the only real ball shell you could find but it's it's one of the few uh, true ball shells out there um, that still remains a true ball shell, so to speak. Um, I don't know if these are made anymore still. Um, all I know is that I saw them uh, available at uh, Pyro Dudes, and I decided to pick up a box. Um, moving on to a couple of 200-gram uh, cakes here. Uh, Chuck actually threw these in for free. Um he threw in this Raging Willow by Raccoon Fireworks. Raccoon Fireworks has made a lot of amazing stuff this year. And I'll get to some of those items as I'm going through my stash update here. But this is one of uh, one of their more popular, or should I say one of their better 200 gram cakes. It's kind of like this one on, at the bottom here, Willow Explosion. But this is kind of like a 200 gram version of it, so to speak. So the performance for this cake is Nishiki Willows with Blue, Sea Blue, Peach, and Grass Green. And I believe this is a 19 shot cake. So this cake is really kind of like a, a 200 gram version of the Nishiki Kamuro effect. And it also has some color thrown in as well. Moving on, we got uh, America's Battalion 16 shot cake by Winda Fireworks. Uh, nice holographic design to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Winda. And the performance, I believe, is on the side somewhere. Yes, it is. We got crackling tails to red, white, blue palms with crackles. Um, it's a strange description here. We got color. I believe that's red, uh, blue, yellow. and it's Either that's white or silver. I can't tell. Or crackling, maybe. Um, 130 feet is the approximate height. It's a straight fire. And noise is 9 out of 10. And it actually has tails to it. And there's the barcode uh, scanner if you guys want to check out what the uh, item looks like on video. All right, down here, this is another cake that Chuck uh, tossed in, uh, you know, for free. Uh, he wanted me to demo this for him. Uh, it's called Willow Explosion by Raccoon Fireworks. This is like a true Nishiki Kamuro cake. Uh, 
but it's not like what you think. Uh, it's like it's not like one of those nine shot power cakes like with Mother of All Bombs by Wena. This is actually a 24 shot cake, kind of a bit of a rapid fire cake with some nice color to it uh, as well. Um, the performance, uh, I don't know where the performance is, so let me go around here and see if I could find it. Oh, there it is. Uh, the performance is Nishiki Willows with Blue Stars. So once again, it's kind of similar to the Raging Willow cake, um, except it's a 500 gram version of it, so to speak. And I think it's just blue color, while this has like green, blue, and red as well, I believe. Anyways, um, moving on, we got a whole case of a 500 gram cake called Power Trip by Dominator. And this is 16 shots. And the performance on the side here is 16 loud power tripping shots of purple, green chrysanthemums and bright glitter with a four shot finale. And we got five on the height, 16 shots, five on the duration, four on the color, straight firing pattern, and the noise level is five. Strange descriptions and ratings for these cakes, at least by Dominator anyways. So uh, I, I saw a video of this cake. It, it hit pretty nice. Um, it's kind of like an economy line type cake because uh, you get six in a case. Um, I don't know if this is a new item for this year, but all I know is that it, it from the videos that I've seen, it, it hit pretty uh, pretty hard for, for what it looks like, considering it's a small cake, small 500 gram cake. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, Chuck uh, tossed in uh, this pack of kick-ass artillery uh, 60 gram canister shells by Dominator. If you guys remember, I actually had a pack of these last year, included them in my uh, canister shell comparison, and I will be doing the same thing uh, with these shells once again this year. So shout out to Chuck for just tossing these in. He tossed in a few uh, different types of canister shells uh, just so I can um, kind of include them in my comparison for this year. All right, then down here, I got a couple of M25 Airburst uh, Tannerite cakes. Uh, Pyro Dudes was able to bring some of these in this year, and I definitely didn't want to pass them up, so I decided to get two of them. We'll probably demo off uh, one, and we'll probably keep the other one more than likely, um, because these these types of items tend to go fast, and you never know if a store is going to keep carrying this item. So I tend to keep really good items if I can, and so I'll more than likely demo one and keep the other. So I don't know if there really is a performance listed on this. I mean, it's everyone knows pretty much knows this cake so I don't really have to go uh, too deep into it it's a uh, what you'd call a 1.4 pro version of a blockbuster so yeah all right so let me put this back up here all right moving on and we got one of my favorite pickups this year the five inch Nishiki Blast canister shells six huge Nishiki Willows I mean this is one of the few 5-inch uh, uh, Nishiki Kamuro shells, canister shells, that came out this year. There are a couple of other ones by different brands. Uh, I think there's one called Willow Explosion, I think, and I, I can't think of the other ones. But um, definitely was uh, very happy to see that I was able to attain uh, this uh, canister shell because these shells are absolutely awesome. Because not only do they come with the Nishiki Kamuro effect, but I believe they have some color mixed in. Uh, with these shells as well. Um, they have the effects listed on the shells themselves. As you see here, you got Nishiki Willow with blue for one of them. So uh, definitely excited to see. And here's the uh, pictures on the side. They don't list the effect on the side of the box, but the effects are listed on the shells, as I mentioned. So got two of these boxes. I intend to include these in my canister shell comparison for sure. And I'll probably demo off the rest of uh, one box, and I'll probably just keep the other box uh, as a collection, so to speak. All right, and in this box over here, um, it does say Raging Bull 5-inch Super Artillery Canister Shells. I'm pretty sure some of you guys remember this uh, canister shell that I, I included it in my canister shell comparison about a couple years back. Uh, it's by Maddox, and wanted to uh, also give a huge shout-out to Chuck for actually allowing me to do a half-and-half. So basically, what I mean by that is he pretty much did half of the box full of the Raging Bull uh, canister shells and the other half with the Raccoon Fireworks uh, Neon Skies 5-inch uh, uh, canister shell. So basically, it's a 5-inch uh, neon canister shell by a Raccoon Fireworks. So 
will definitely be including both of those shells in the uh, canister shell comparison. And I once again wanted to give a huge, huge shout out for Chuck, uh, to Chuck for in including or doing a half and half for me on this uh, box of canister shells. All right, so over here we got a sleeve of, uh, I believe these are called a tube. It says it on the tube. I just need to pull it out because I don't know for sure what it was called. Okay, we got five inch uh, canister shells, Independence Day by Raccoon Fireworks. So I guess it's kind of like Independence Day, five inch canister shells. I never really heard of these shells. I don't remember seeing them on the Pyro Dudes website. But all I know is that Chuck kind of threw in a sleeve of these for me to uh, include in the uh, canister shell comparison that I'll be doing this year. So going to have quite a few uh, raccoon uh, shells uh, in my comparison this year, and I definitely can't wait uh, to see what they look like. All right, over here we got Amazing Ballet by Winda. Uh, Chuck kind of tossed uh, this one in as well. It's 100 shots. Uh, it's, a, sorry, it's the Amazing Ballet Mini. Sorry, it's the mini version of the Amazing Ballet. I don't can't remember how many shots the big one was, but at any rate, this is kind of like the 200 gram or maybe 350 gram version of the uh, 500 gram Amazing Ballet. The performance on this one is mini version of our classic Waving Flag Cake Amazing Ballet. Now less money for amazing patriotic enjoyment. All right, uh, this next cake here is by Dominator. It's called All That Glitters. It's a nine shot cake and Chuck was also nice enough to toss this in uh, for me to demo. Uh, the performance here is nine shots of huge gold glittering willows hang uh, twinkling in the sky for several seconds each. This item is produced using special techniques and formula formulations, making it as close to a professional performance as you can get. All that glitters is not gold, but this item is pyrotechnic gold. <laughs> So uh, we got the uh, heights five, you got nine shots, duration is five, color is four, uh, straight firing pattern, and noise level is five. And this cake is kind of like inside of a box. So you pretty much open it up here and it has that gold wrapping on top. And this is what it pretty much looks like. Um, so I don't know if this is kind of like an Ashiki Kamuro cake because it has the gold willows uh, effect in it. So it may be something similar to it, but it's, uh, from what Chuck told me, it's a very, very nice cake. Uh, one of their favorite uh, new items for this, uh, for this year, for sure. All right, uh, moving on, got a whole case of Magnum Tremors by Raccoon Fireworks. It's a nine on a board, uh, three inch tubes, supposedly. Now, obviously, legally, you can't put m bigger than a 2.25 inch shell inside these, uh, nine on a board cakes but um, basically what they do they have a three inch ball and then they put like rice holes and whatnot in between the 2.25 inch shell and the three inch ball that surrounds the 2.25 inch shell nevertheless i uh, saw a video of this cake and it performed like amazing i mean it's like almost like a, a sunshine type effect because it has that Kind of like with the sun ring rockets that you see here. It's kind of like has that effect, but it's bigger. You know, it's got some nice color in the, in the middle of it as well. And the performance is on the bottom over here. We got silver wave to red ring with glittering willow horsetail. Silver wave to green ring with glittering willow horsetail. And silver wave to blue ring with red glittering willow horsetail. So it's basically just a bunch of rings with uh, stars coming out on the end of the tips of each of the... Uh, the tails so uh definitely definitely caught my eye and raccoon fireworks as i mentioned they've been producing some very very nice cakes this year we'll probably include one of these in the finale and light the other one off on its own all right uh over here picked up a whole box of the goat shells by dominator greatest of all time and uh, i'm sure a lot of people have been uh kind of Interested in seeing what these shells perform because it is a new item for this year and uh, they're five inch shells and uh, They definitely have caught the eye of uh, quite a few uh, customers um, Got the performance description here. We got these five inch shells are bred from winning stock Dominator regularly competes and wins first place at international fireworks events worldwide So if you want professional grade shells, then these are truly the goat 
<laughs> like the design of the box as well. So we'll uh, we'll get a chance to see for sure if these are the greatest of all time when uh, I include them in my canister shell comparison this year with a whole bunch of different other canister shells. So stay tuned for that. All right, so moving on here, got a whole case of depth alone shells by Winda. I'm sure you guys remember I picked up a case, I believe, last year. Um, and ever since I found out with, you know, the ball shells pretty much being on their way out, I, and on top of that, Winda has discontinued the production of depth alone shells and also the all up with graceful mind shells. Uh, so I made it a point to get it whole, another whole case of these shells just to kind of hold on to because I'm almost certain that uh, these types of shells are probably not going to be around anymore for the foreseeable future, or at least until something happens to where they bring ball shells back, if they bring them back. So just as uh, basically insurance, I bought another case of these shells, and I intend to enjoy them for quite a few several years to come, as long as I don't shoot all of them off at once, which I don't plan to do. So, <laughs> All right, so moving on. Uh, the other uh, ball shell kit that I picked up by... Uh, Dragon Wild Dragon Fireworks. It's called Target Engaged. You get 12 shells in this box. Same, it's pretty much the same exact uh, design and look as the uh, Looks Dangerous uh, shell kit. And these are also uh, real uh, ball shells. All right, got a couple more 200 gram cakes here. Uh, picked up uh, Silken Sky by Dominator. 16 shot cake. This has that nice lace effect to it. I like on a 200 gram uh, version of it, so to speak. We got 16 shots, fill the sky with bright colored peony, followed by our beautiful silk lace effect. This unique new effect is as delicate and beautiful as silk. And for the height, we got four, 16 shots, duration is five, color is five, straight firing pattern, and the noise level is four. And over here, we got Colorful Skies by Raccoon Fireworks. Chuck was also nice enough to toss this one in uh, for me to demo. And the performance on this one is Peach, Sea Blue, Green, Teal, Yellow with Gold Plum Blossom. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it's 25 shots. All right, finally, we got a whole case of Big Shots by Pyro Demon. Big shots. This is a 20 shot cake. Um, one big important uh, note about this cake. It is extremely hard to find. I have not seen this cake in very many stores. And I've been told by many, many people that this is an extremely tough cake to find. And it is a very, very, like, awesome cake. That's all. I mean, every positive word you could think of about this cake, you know, and it's Pyro Demon, and you really don't have to say much about Pyro Demon because they produce some really, really good cakes. Um, this one, I know if you guys noticed, I put some tape at the bottom of this one, mainly because the cardboard and the paper was uh, pretty much separated from the actual cake itself, and some clay was uh, leaking from the bottom, so I had to tape it up with J Dave's Magic Tape. And it'll hold, so um, we'll probably uh, light off uh, one of these cakes on its own, maybe include one or two in my finale and then i'll probably just keep the other one because as i mentioned before these cakes are very very hard to find nowadays so the performance i believe is on the side somewhere oh there it is but it's covered by the tape so let's go to the next one we got assorted effects of red blue white peonies white purple yellow peonies sky blue and lemon peonies and sky blue and glitter and brocade rings all right, so down here, got a couple packs of uh, Sky Rockets that Chuck just tossed in. We got these uh, Star Shooter, or sorry, it's not Star Shooter, Star Smasher Rockets by Pyro Demon. You get nine in a pack. And I have never really heard of or seen these rockets, but I definitely can't wait to see what they look like because Pyro Demon is definitely a good brand. Um, Chuck also tossed in a pack of these Sunring Rockets. I still have a pack from last year. Um, I really didn't want to demo off because... These rockets seem to be very good, but now that I have an extra pack, I'll definitely be doing a demo of uh, these rockets for sure. All right, guys, wanted to show you uh, one more uh, 
quick and important thing about my order with Pyro Dudes. As I mentioned uh, in a few previous videos, I intend to do a Pyro musical this year. And it's going to include mostly uh, 1.4 uh, Pro stuff from Dominator Pro Fireworks. Um, pretty much did uh, the bulk of my uh, 1.4 Pro order with Pyro Dudes. And uh, just picked up a bunch of different stuff. Got some of these uh, quick uh, flames, uh, flame pots, whatever you call them. Uh, Chuck threw in a few of these uh, strobes by 76 uh, Pro Fireworks. Got some Nishiki Comets down there somewhere, some single shot tubes. A um, couple of other, you know, items I'm going to be putting uh, in uh, the Pyro Musical. Also picked up some various uh, cake, sli cake slices. These are the um, the 13 shot variety. Oops. Just so you guys can see what it looks like. So I intend to build racks for these. Um, also have some of the bigger ones. We got the uh, 15 uh, shot variety. And we got a couple of uh, Spirit of 76 slices in there that uh, Chuck threw in as well. And also uh, have a couple of those C uh, slice cakes. They're 19 shot cakes. And a couple of other 15 uh, shot cakes. I intend to also uh, pick up some of the... Like, I think they're either... I don't know if they're 15 or 19 shot. I can't remember off the top of my head. They're the ghost... 15 or 19 shot ghost slice cakes. They're like huge. And they're absolutely amazing. They change colors, uh, you know, in the middle of the... When they fire. And it's it's like an amazing effect. And uh, we definitely intend to include quite a few of those in our Pyro Musical. So, still have a few more cake slices to pick up uh, from uh, Pyro Dudes. But after we pick them up, that pretty much should be it for our 1.4 Pro order. And everything should be pretty much set to organize for our pyro musical so that is pretty much it for the 1.4 pro stuff and it's pretty much it for the uh, regular consumer line stuff so once again wanted to give a huge huge shout out to chuck west pa pyro to tim you know all those great people at the uh, pyro dudes they're you know one of the best that i've ever dealt with personally and I, I strongly encourage, you know, anyone who can stop by that store to stop by that store. You will not regret it. Chuck sells the best of the best. And when I mean the best of the best, I mean the best. You know, I don't have to really go into details about that, but you guys already know what I mean. So uh, definitely, definitely encourage you guys to go check out that store. It's one of the best stores around. You won't regret it. You know, tell him Pimp Daddy sent you, and Chuck will definitely take care of you. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys next time.